Cordero, a Broadway actor who had admirers across the world rallying for his recovery, has died after a battle with COVID-19, according to his wife, Amanda Klutz. He was 41. God has another angel in heaven now, Klutz posted on her official Instagram account Sunday night. My darling husband passed away this morning. He was surrounded in love by his family, singing and praying as he gently left this earth. Klutz has been regularly updating her social media accounts with news of her husband's ups and downs as he battled the virus and complications, including an amputated leg. She said Cordero battled the disease for 95 days. Born in Canada, Cordero grew up in Hamilton, Ontario, and eventually made his way to the Big Apple. In 2014 he was nominated for a Tony Award and a Drama Desk Award as role in Bullets Over Broadway a role that earned him a Theatre World Award and Outer Critics Circle Award. Cordero originated the role of the husband, Earl, in the Broadway production of Waitress, as well as the role of Sonny in the musical version of Chaz Palminteri's A Bronx Tale. He also found success on the small screen, making appearances in episodes of Blue Bloods, Law and Order. Special Victims Unit and Lillehammer. Cordero includes, a fitness trainer, relocated to Los Angeles, where he starred in the musical Rock of Ages in 2019. He met Klutz, a former Broadway dancer, when they were both performing in Bullets Over Broadway and they married in 2017. According to Klutz, Cordero was initially hospitalized in March at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. She shared on social media that Cordero spent some time on a ventilator, suffered multiple COVID-19 complications and in April had to have his leg amputated. He spent weeks unconscious, even as doctors brought him out of sedation, and the hashtag campaign Wake Up Nick sprung up on social media to support Cordero as he recovered. In May, Klutz posted that her husband was awake and while very weak, was making progress. Even closing his eyes takes it out of him, she said, they're waiting for him to regain strength, of course, time and recovery will help with that and then eventually PT will help him get stronger. Earlier in the month she had said her husband had a low blood count but was not bleeding internally. Yet on another front the news was not great. However, we did learn that due to COVID Nick's lungs are severely damaged, she said, to look almost like he's been a smoker for 50 years they said, they are that damaged. Klutz recently told CBS This Morning co-host Gail King that Cordero had been so critically ill that he may have needed a double lung transplant. That is most likely the possibility, she said, a 99% chance that he would be needing that in order to live the kind of life that I know my husband would want to live. In addition to Klutz, Cordero is survived by their one-year-old son, Elvis. CNN's Holly Silverman contributed to this report.